Since WPF week, David Teitelbaum's demos have become synonymous with a magical item in World of Warcraft. Teitelbaum's demos. We keep hearing about them, people want them. We brought David back and he's going to show us something else that's really cool. So, David, thanks for coming. Uh, thanks for having me. Yes. So, what do you have to show us? Uh, what I have to show today is an effect library that we're actually going to be publicly releasing. Let's go ahead and open one of these videos that I can legally show on TV. Um, so, here's this uh, HD Amazon video. Uh -huh. uh, you can see right now it's got no effect and it's not selected, but there you've got no effect. Uh, but then you can just kind of cycle through uh, these various effects. One of them that we haven't shown before on TV is this zoom blur effect. Oh, wow. So it's a pretty cool effect. You can go ahead and uh, toggle all the various properties of the effects. And this is something Troy also did was he uh, data bound all these sliders to the various input parameters of the effects. So I can okay. go ahead and just change the slider and make it do whatever. I can uh, change the degree of, of the blur and other things. Which actually demonstrates a lot of the, um, I guess, the integration that you're providing with WPF properties straight to the shader. That's, that's exactly, awesome. Exactly. So it's all just integrated right here. Um, so more effects. You've already seen Swirl, but you've got to show it. You know? Right. I love it. Everybody loves Swirl. Swirling trees, definitely. Yeah. Here's this smooth magnify effect. Oh, that's cool. Okay. So. Yeah. Uh, it, it's not uh, bound to the mouse right now, so it's just in the center of the window, but uh -huh. you get the idea. I showed it before. Here's a pixelate effect. It's a very simple uh, shader if you actually look at the HLSL, but it's just creating this pixelate effect uh -huh. on the video. Cool. Um, here's an invert color effect. And you're going to see before and after. And, of course, there are no parameters to that. It's just taking color equals one minus color, basically, for sure. all the color channels. Here's an emboss effect, which I think is very cool on video. Yeah. It's actually interesting. If you look at it, you can see the compression artifacts uh, of the WMV if you look closely. And you mm -hmm. might not be able to see it in this video, but in some of the uh, videos with higher compression, the compression artifacts are very evident when you're using this emboss effect. And of course, you can change the parameters of that. Make it very embossed. And let me open a new one because that just ended. So the other thing is that, you know, going along with like the dependency property stuff, you can actually animate these with the regular storyboard. Animate absolutely. the properties, right? Absolutely, yeah. absolutely. Yeah. So that's that's yeah. awesome. So it's that the total integration of the framework is yeah. what makes this so powerful. There's another blur effect. This is a directional blur. Very cool. And yeah, you can kind of see what you could do with that. And again, these are only applied to kind of inanimate content, or not inanimate, but non-interactive content. You could apply this to uh, buttons. You could apply all these effects to UI. So you could effectively have a, a an OK button, you click the OK button, your entire UI blurs out and then blurs back in That's with some awesome. different UI. So I mean, yeah, and, and it's I, all real interactive. I exactly. mean, it's still interactive. Exactly. So you I'm, could do it on the whole window. And right. That. Yeah. So I want to put together a demo that actually shows that because that's sort of where I think the the key, of, like the key, is to show how you can actually apply these to anything and you can get the hit testing and everything to work. So. So the best thing is source code is available. Uh, sample app to show you how to do it, and it's going to be all available on WindowsClient.net. Exactly. Exactly. All right. So we're hoping people will jump on this and really get excited. I think so. I know a lot of people love it and actually, you know, really showing them how to do it will, will be very helpful. That's so, good. All right. Well, I look forward to your return with the, uh, the <laughs> next demo. Yeah. Yeah. I look forward to seeing you again. All right. So. Well, thanks. Yeah. Thank you.